windows, switching between windows, opening an application, shutting down your computer. Mighty, in the previous class, I learned that Windows is an operating system. Please tell me how it works. Sure, Windows is operating system that works behind the scenes to run your computer. Let's explore it further. The operating system tells the computer what to do when it starts up and keeps track of the documents, files and other software in a computer. It also provides the standard user interface components like menus and the desktop that you see when you look at your computer screen. The Windows operating system uses a graphical interface, pictures or icons instead of text and it allows you to multitask accessing multiple applications and files simultaneously. Windows 7 has evolved from the older versions of Windows 95 98 ME, NT, 2000 and XP. It is much more reliable. It takes advantage of improvements in the CPU and it supports long file names. Desktop Let's have a look at what is on your desktop. You will have a few pictures on your desktop. These are called icons. To access the program the icon represents or the contents of these icons, they must be opened. To open an icon, you point at it with your mouse and then double-click on it using the left mouse button. Show Desktop The Show Desktop option is located on far right corner. You don't need to click on it. Just put your mouse over it and it shows you the desktop. If you want to keep the desktop and minimize the files, just click it. The Taskbar the taskbar is the long horizontal bar at the bottom of your screen. Unlike the desktop, which can get obscured by open windows, the taskbar is almost always visible. It has three main sections. The Start button, which opens the Start menu. The Middle section, which shows you which programs and files you have opened and allows you to quickly switch between them. The notification area, which includes a clock and icons that communicate the status of certain programs and computer settings. The taskbar provides a way to organize all your windows. Each window has a corresponding button on the taskbar. To switch to another window, just click its taskbar button. The window appears in front of all other windows, becoming the active window, the one you are currently working in. Start button. The start button is located at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side of the taskbar and gives you access to most things available on your computer. When you click on the start button, you will see a menu. Clicking on this item will run the application. Some of the items you may see in the start menu are Documents. The documents menu links you to your documents pictures. This will link you to your pictures folder. Music. This links you to a folder for storing music. Computer. Clicking this link will show you the drives connected to this computer. Control panel. Allows you to make changes to the current settings on the computer. Devices and printers. You can add wired and wireless devices to your PC, such as printers and speakers. You can also remove them and troubleshoot these devices if they aren't working properly. Search programs and files Allows you to search for files, folders, printers, software applications, etc. by entering search criteria. Help and support Gives you access to a help facility where you can find out how to do certain things on your computer. Log off. Allows you to log off as a user without turning off the computer. This would allow someone else can log on. Windows search. The Windows search enables you to instantly find anything on your computer. To search anything, use the following steps. Step 1. 
click on the start button on the left bottom corner. Step 2. Click in the search programs and files area text box and type the name or part of the name of the file you want to look for. A list will start to appear as you type as shown below. Search box. Start button. Type in search box. Gadgets. Right-click desktop and select the gadgets option. The gadgets window will appear. Drag over to your desktop what gadgets you would like. The news, your pictures and the faces of the moon right on your desktop. Here are some examples. Some more like in Windows 7, Windows XP and earlier operating system, you don't have any gadget on your desktop. Working with Windows Minimize, Restore and Close Windows When a window is active, its taskbar button is highlighted. Clicking its taskbar button minimizes the window. That means that the window disappears from the desktop. Minimizing a window doesn't close it or delete its contents. It only temporarily removes it from the desktop. In the picture below, MS Word 2007 is an active window, but in other programs are minimized but not closed. You can tell it's still running because it has a button on the taskbar. You can also minimize a window by clicking the Minimize button in the upper right corner of the window. Active window, minimized windows. Switching between windows. If you open more than one program or document, your desktop can quickly become cluttered with windows. Keeping track of which windows you have opened is not always easy because some windows might partially or completely cover others. Using the taskbar. The taskbar provides a way to organize all your windows. Each window has a corresponding button to the taskbar. To switch to another window, just click its taskbar button. The window appears in front of all other windows, becoming the active window, the one you are currently working in. To easily identify a window, point to its taskbar button. When you point to a taskbar button, you'll see a thumbnail-sized preview of the window, whether the content of the window is a document, a photo, or even a running video. This preview is especially useful if you can't identify a window by its title alone. Using Alt plus Tab You can switch to the previous window by pressing Alt plus Tab or cycle through all open windows and the desktop by holding down Alt and repeatedly pressing Tab. Windows 7 displays a panel in the middle of the desktop showing thumbnails of each open window. Release Alt to show the selected window. Using Arrow Flip 3D Arrow Flip 3D arranges your windows in a three-dimensional stack that you can quickly flip through. To use Arrow Flip 3D, follow these steps. First, hold down the Windows logo key and press Tab to open Flip 3D. While holding down the Windows logo key, press Tab repeatedly or rotate the mouse wheel to cycle through open windows. All the open windows will cascade across your desktop in 3D. You can also press right arrow or down arrow to cycle forward one window or press left arrow or up arrow to cycle backward one window. Release the Windows logo key to display the frontmost window in the stack or click any part of any window in the stack to display that window. Opening an application There are many ways to open an application. It is up to the user to find one of two that suit you. The most common ways are by clicking the Start button, going to the All Programs menu and locating the application in the list that appears. Second, by double-clicking the shortcut icon on the desktop if one has been created. The icon shown here is the shortcut for Mozilla Firefox. Some applications may be located on the taskbar as a quick link. Look at the left-hand side of the taskbar just after the Start button. These quick links only need to be clicked shutting down your computer. When you're finished using your computer, it's important to turn it off properly. 
not only to save energy but also to help keep your computer more secure and to ensure that your data is saved use the shutdown button on the start menu to turn off your computer using the start menu click the start button and then in the lower right corner of the start menu click the shutdown button when you click shut down your computer closes all programs along with windows itself and then completely turns off your computer and display shutting down doesn't save your work so you must save your files first click the arrow next to the shutdown button for more options first restart click restart if you want your computer to restart after shutting down using sleep you can choose to make your computer sleep instead of shutting it down sleep is a power saving state that allows a computer to quickly resume full power operation in seconds putting your computer into the sleep state is like pausing a dvd player the computer immediately stops what it's doing and is ready to start again when you want to resume working usually a light on the outside of your computer case blinks or turns yellow to indicate that the computer is asleep <laughs> to wake your computer press the power button on your computer case third hibernate hibernation is a power saving state designed primarily for laptops while sleep puts your work and settings in memory and draws a small amount of power hibernation puts your open documents and programs on your hard disk and then turns off your computer laptop users close the lid if you have a laptop there's an even easier way to turn off your computer close the lid you can choose whether your computer sleeps shuts down or enters another power saving state 